What if I told you there was a free ear training game out there that will teach you how to better identify frequencies to get better mixes? Oh yeah, it exists. It's called EQ Academy. I just discovered this. Let's check this out. From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. So you're listening to the Soyuz 7 FET going through the SPL Channel 1 Mark III. It's a beautiful sound that we will talk about in a future episode, but today we're going to talk about EQ Academy. Because Mastering the Mix, which is a website that uh, I guess they sell plugins, they, they basically try to teach you how to, how to mix better, right? How to mix like a pro. They have released a game called EQ Academy. This is pretty cool, right? So it's uh they've they've gamified ear training. So there are levels, interactive levels to sharpen your EQ instincts. This is pretty cool. And you could even this is really weird. <laughs> I think because you could you can do this yourself. I'll show you how it works, but you could do head-to-head -head battles with other people online, you know, like like other video games. So how cool is that? So let's take a look at EQ Academy real quick. I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to get too into it because I just discovered this. It's pretty cool. So here, let me just show you what it does. So there are tr there are tracks that play, right? And you have to you have to match the EQ, right? You have target EQ and your EQ here. Switch to target. All right. So to me, that sounds like a boost, right? That. And there's one point here, right? I can't change this EQ point. I can only... I can only raise or lower it here at this point. I feel pretty good, that's... See. All right, so I passed. Let's go to the next level. All right, that definitely looks like a, or sounds like an EQ cut. See, and I think it's a pretty big cut because when you make a cut like that, you get the, the bass sounds a little bit more prominent because you've notched it out. So, pretty close. All right, we'll take that. Oh, here's two EQ points. Getting, getting interesting here. So it's a double boost there, right? This little notch here. So that's about what, 250 and that's like 1.5 or 1.6? Identify what that is. That's, so here we go. Alright, close enough. Let's do one more. So there we go. So that's EQ Academy, and there are what a hundred levels. I've just I've just done what like three or four, and so yeah, it'll help you as I guess it progresses. I the there are more frequency points to consider, and the cool thing about that is that over time, you will learn uh, how to hear them better instead of having the points given to you and then you decide whether it needs a cut or a boost, um, you will be able to identify what point it is and what it needs in order to match uh, the type of sound you're looking for. Now, obviously, I think this right as it is right now, we're looking at total mixes. We're listening to total mixes. So this is kind of a, like a mastering level uh, exercise. 
But it's also good, I think, especially for when you are a voiceover artist and you're just talking about your individual track that you're listening to. And you may or may may not uh, need some kind of EQ to help you out. I mean, basically, you may need EQ to correct the room you're in, right? More so than anything. And so being able to uh, identify and understand what these frequencies do. And, you know, there was, uh, what was it, a couple, a couple, of, uh, couple of levels ago, I misheard it. As, uh, you know, I misheard the, the cuts as boosts and et cetera, et cetera. So that's what this is really good for is, again, it's, it's like it's, it's exercise. And it's free. EQ Academy is free. Because learning how to use your tools will get you ahead of the competition. It's something I talk about in my book, The Modern Voiceover Career Owner's Manual, is that what you want to do is you want to master your tools so that you can better understand how to use them to get the result you want. And mastering your tools will give you an edge over your competition because I think you know plenty of people out there who just kind of turn things on, record and go, and they think that's it. That's the way to do it, right? Get a raw sound, just kind of capture the emotion of it. But you're missing out on the fact that a lot of that emotion can be accentuated, can be elevated when you get the right tone. When you get the right tone and you hit that right psychological sweet spot with it, it it has a lot more impact on the listener than if you just feel like the raw emotion of your performance will have enough effect on the listener. And also having the right tone will get you work. So it definitely will. If you have the right read, the right tone, you're definitely going to be ahead of your competition. So go check out my book, The Modern Voiceover Career Owner's Manual. Go check out EQ Academy. This is really interesting. So this is at masteringthemix.com. I'm sure if you go to the front page, you'll find it. Uh, And uh, what you'll do is uh, I think you have to uh, sign up for their um, uh, 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 mailing list. (laughs) Sign up for their mailing list. I've got, I've got a booking waiting for me, and I'm sitting here thinking about two things at once. So you got to sign up for their mailing list, which, you know, I mean, is what it is. You can always unsubscribe later, I guess, but sign up for the mailing list, and then you can get EQ Academy for free. And if anything, it's a fun little diversion. And maybe you learn something along the way. All right? So go check it out. All right, until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.